Pinpin22 says, I recently graduated from college and I know that the first few years out there are usually rough. Any advice for getting through the tough times? Oh, that's a really good one. And the first few years of college can be really tough, especially because a lot of times you've just figured out, who, you're still figuring out who you are. You're just now trying to apply that person to like the real world and the real world's rules. And you're more often than not broke because it's hard out here. And um, the struggle can get a bit real and your friends are all going off in different directions. So you do sometimes feel very alone and it can get depressing. Like I had a moment in um, my early years just out of college, like maybe a year or two in, where I started to feel really lonely and a bit depressed. I was going through things at home, like family-wise, like personal issues, and so it was just a really dark time. I was broke, you know, you're penny-pinching, you're trying to keep the lights on and eat food and like not blow your parents up for money or whatever it is. Um, so yeah, times can get really hard, but I would just encourage you to one, remember that they will not last forever. Like those hard times will not last forever if you are willing to work hard and push through the pain and the discomfort and try to maintain a positive outlook. So remember that it's not gonna last. Just know that you're in a moment and I've learned to just embrace those moments. So even when things are going really bad these days or if I'm going through even pain, emotional pain or you know, mental angst or depression, um, just an, an unfortunate situation at work, if I'm frustrated with a friend, I've learned to just embrace it and like step into the pain and the discomfort and accept this is a moment that I'm in right now. It's not a moment that will last forever because nothing lasts forever. So let me just accept and embrace the discomfort and then ride the storm, ride the wave, wait for it to be over, do what I can to get to the other side and have faith that eventually it will come out. And there's a peace that comes with that so that even though you are not necessarily out of the bad situation, internally you are calm and you are able to just, you know, deal with it. It's like a thunderstorm outside all around you. It sucks, it's scary, but if you can just stay zinned out and focused and centered, eventually that storm will pass. So try to find peace in the middle of your pain. Also, look for positivity. Whatever lights you up or makes you happy, try to do more of those things. So if you have a new little cousin or a baby sister or whatever and just Seeing them brightens up your day, but now you're just out of college and you're on the other side of the country. Make it a point to FaceTime with, you know, that little guy, the little girl more if she makes you happy. FaceTime with your family, Skype with them. Um, I personally rely a lot on my spirituality, especially in times of need, so I would encourage you to seek that if it's something that you're interested in exploring, and that's not to say what you should seek one thing over another but consider you know investing in being of a sound mind and spirit and that really helps with inner peace too whether it's going to church or going to a support group or just talking through your issues with an accountability partner someone who can help feed your spirit and push positivity into your situation um, and then also like a hobby get a really cool fun hobby that you enjoy um, to distract you or take your mind off of like the first few years as it's hard like you're just gonna have to push through those years you're gonna have to hustle you're gonna have to apply for job after job and you may not get a bunch of yeses or even one for a long time and so that's one of those things where you just have to keep hustling and waiting but it's about making yourself comfortable in the waiting period so whether it's a paint class or whether you love reading books maybe you like writing taking an hour or two to write every evening or every week um, just find something that makes you happy or that makes you feel a little bit more uplifted and consistently do that and then also I would recommend you this is kind of random but the first few years outside of college um, can be hard especially financially so when you do get money little bits of money here or there always pay yourself first so try to put away a little chunk of change even so you build a small safety net when it comes to savings and don't fall for the trap of credit card debt like when you're first into college or out of it people will be like oh you qualify for this and this and this and you're young and you think you're always going to be young and 
life's not gonna catch up to you, but it always does. Shout out to my student loan that I didn't even need. I was on a full ride at university and I still took out a small loan and I'm paying that back and it's just like, what's the point? Um, so don't do that. If you don't need a loan or you don't need a line of credit, don't be like, oh, but then I can swipe for these shoes or this shirt or whatever. Don't make your situation worse. So try to back away from credit and things that give you momentary pleasure that you're gonna have to pay for on the back end. And then lastly, try to build a support network, a circle of friends who can talk to you and support you and have fun with you while you sort of ride the wave of the first few years in the real world. They're probably going through a similar situation or are figuring stuff out too. So if there are a few good close friends, you guys can sort of figure that out together. And that goes right into the first question that I answered where um, if you feel like you don't know anyone in your new city or you have a new job and you've just moved, like push yourself to go outside of your comfort zone and make friends. Use the Bumble BFF app if you need to. Go to a meetup, join an organization at work just to get to know people and get you social because those are the things that will keep your spirit uplifted while you sort of wait to have life come together, which can take a few years, but just know that it will happen with persistence and positivity. Eventually, uh, most things tend to come together. So wishing you the best of luck. Okay. Says I'm 21 years old, about to graduate college. I'm trying to feel more confident and less shy. I'm very introverted, but I want to be able to communicate and network better. In addition, I know this is bad, but when I'm surrounded by white people as a person of color, I can feel less than and judged in professional settings. So I feel like I have to be extra perfect to compete. Any advice? 